Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Unicorns and Typewriters. In today's video, I'm going to do an unboxing of a mystery stationery box. Ooh, wow. I painted my nails. Anyway, I saw on social media from other expat women living in Korea that some Kyobo bookstores were selling these mystery stationery boxes. And they were selling them for 9,900 won, which roughly translates to probably seven or eight USD dollars, um, definitely under $10. Supposedly what's in this box is worth 100,000, which is close to probably about $90, almost $100 USD. So it's a lucky box, it's a mystery box. We don't know what's inside, but everyone who got one seemed to say that they had in fact gotten very lucky and been able to find really cool stuff. I decided to go and get some boxes. I actually got two boxes. So anyway, this was from Kyobo Bookstore in Gangnam, but it was kind of in the art box section of Kyobo Books. So I guess it's all kind of owned by the same company or they have a deal. I don't really know. I think maybe this is like art box stuff in here, which if it is, that's really cool. But I heard that they were only selling this at Kyobo, specifically that Kyobo Bookstore. So if you're living in Korea, they actually still had a whole stack when I was there, so it might be worth checking out. But anyway, I'm really excited because I really love stationery. I love stickers. I love journaling. I love keeping a planner, like calendar that I like decorating with stickers. And I like writing letters and I write. So like stationery is a great thing for me. Let's open this up and see what is inside. This is my cute little box cutter that I got in Korea, by the way. It is a carrot with a smiley face because Korea, like everything in Korea is cute. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I'm already excited. Oh my goodness, look how much stuff is in here. I'm totally seeing why they're saying it was worth 100,000 because there is a ton of things in here. So the first thing I'm noticing on top is like some kind of bag of, it looks like stickers, which is a great place to start. So, so excited guys. When I saw they were selling these, I thought I had missed them. I thought I was too late, but here we are. I really hope I got some good stuff. From what this looks like, I am already thinking it was totally worth it because these types of stickers are not cheap. Yeah, so like this in itself would have been 1,500, which is really cute. So we've got these little circles. They say, one of this check around. I can definitely use these in my planner as well as these cute little plaid hearts. Very cute. Oh my gosh, this looks really cute. This has removable stickers. So, oh, this is like a Harry Potter reference. Very cute. Little menu, like a cafe theme. I guess removable. Oh, you could put them like on your phone, I guess. I don't know. I wouldn't really plan on these like being able to remove and use again though, especially if you put them on a phone or um, device like they're gonna get beat up even if you could take it off again but anyway these are super cute and I like the Harry Potter theme on this one and these I never buy because it's just one sheet of stickers for these would have cost 1,800 which to me I can get like stickers that come in like 10 sheets for like 1,000 at Daiso so I never buy these so it's really fun to get to treat myself to this we've got a sheet that looks like it's just open <laughs> that's interesting oh we have a couple that are just kind of open but they look like they kind of go together maybe this is a little chaotic some of these aren't in packaging but we have little clips and oh the highlighter ones these are so cute and pencils some of these will be good for school too like I can give them to students so it's really exciting. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Wow, I'm impressed already. These are bubbles. Oh my god, I love these. I would use these on letters or in my planner. These are great. There's two sheets of these. They're just loose. Who knows why? I guess the packaging got messed up or something. Oh, this is interesting. These are cereal. These are marshmallows. <laughs> cereal and marshmallows. These look like they kind of went together. They're also just loose, which is very strange. I guess maybe the packaging got damaged or something, but hey, I'm not complaining. These are really pretty. Sparkly flowers. These are all by the same company. What's it? This looks different. We have Omil Jimmel seal. These are kind of interesting. We've got like a silly statue as well as like candy and candles, birthday hats. Maybe this is kind of birthday themed, but yeah, just one sheet for 1,800, which I would never like buy at the store, but it's so nice to have. And then these, oh my gosh, we've got phones, tablets, a little TV, old fashioned 
cameras. Oh my gosh, look at these. They're like disposable cameras, little computers. This is really, really cute. These look like old MacBooks, old cell phones. Oh yes, I love this. And alphabet, so we've got some cute little alphabet ones. Also, these were 2000. I would have never spent 2000 on one sheet of alphabet stickers, but I will definitely use them and they're really cute. And then we've got these little big, they're called Big Shape. There's four sheets of these. They were also 2000. This will be useful for my planner actually, really useful to write little things on. And we've got a single sheet of flowers. This one of this company is apparently very popular or unpopular since it's in this box. These are more of these removable stickers. So it looks like we have a sheet of perfumes. That's really cute. And then we have a sheet that has skincare kind of stuff, moisture bar. This is really cute, just really cute stuff. Ooh, we have more of these little hearts. Green ones, green is my favorite color. We have red circles. And then we have some more loose sheets. This is really interesting, loose sheets. We have more alphabet, more alphabet, more alphabet. But these are really cool because I like to use these in my planner journal as well. I love the green shades. That makes me happy. We have, oh, this interesting like blocky white and black. I like that. These are just all different alphabet ones. These are really cool. I would never buy these individually, but I love using them in my planner. So it's really nice to have all these different style letter ones. Okay. So this was really cool. I cannot complain about this sticker haul. There's some really cute ones in here. So I'm very happy with that. I'll set these aside. So now we have, I know what this is. It is a little book. You fold this and you'll attach this to keep it closed. I have one of these already, but it's another book for photo strips. So I can either use this if I need more space or maybe give it to a friend who needs one that doesn't have one yet. So this will definitely be useful or a great gift item. Oh my gosh, this looks so cute. This is a little notepad. So it looks like every pad of paper in this thick notepad is this cute little design with a seal and a ship and a whale and little penguins. I think this is really cute and I would use this as a notepad. I also have a lot of friends that really like ocean life even more than I do. So I would definitely consider this also as possibly a gift for someone, but it was 3,500 and that's not expensive at all for such a thick notepad, but it's definitely not something I would have necessarily bought myself. So already I think we've way surpassed the price that I paid for this box. This is cute. Oh, believe in your strength and your youth. It all depends on me. Andre guide. So this is a cute little folder. Oh, what does this say? It says, don't look behind. Don't worry about it. I really like that. It has a little keychain. Uh, I like the quote. It's cute. It's a clear square pouch. This is a good place to store little notepads, pencils, pens. I've had things like this before. They're really popular in England too. Never saw them in the States as much, this type of like plastic case. Let's see what else. Looks like another little notepad. So this one is like a little graph chart and it says timeline in doing we learn. That's really cute. Oh, it's got like the sun rising and then two, four, six, eight, ten, the midday sun and then 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and then nighttime. So this is also kind of to help you map out your day by the hour. So that's actually really useful and cute. And I can see myself using this. Let's check out this. Ooh, the bonbon note in the Paris, it says. But the design is really cute with the Eiffel Tower and the fireworks, so I can't really complain. This is really adorable. Yeah, this was originally a thousand won, so not expensive, but it's a cute little notebook. Also would be a cute gift or a cute little thing to use for myself. Oh, I see a cat. No, yes. Oh, this is another one. It says sunrise on it. And there's a little cat on the back that I noticed. This is also a thousand, but it's got a little cat on a sort of ledge of a wall that then has a sunrise behind it with plants in the front. Really cute. These would make really good little gifts. As well as this one, ooh, with the matching. So this matches the little notepad. It matches, it's the same design. So that's really cute. And we've got a little keychain here. This says, free from the routine, a classic handy key holder. It's made in Italy out of cowhide. It's real leather. So a real leather like keychain is kind of interesting. This was originally marked as 9,800. So already the entire box basically <laughs> it was the price of just this keychain plus all this other stuff. So that's pretty cool. Like red isn't my favorite color, but I might give this as a gift or 
I don't know. It's, it's not bad. It's still cute. So we'll see. Let's see. I like this little notebook. This was 6,800 won. So yet again, paying for the box. This says the bonbon grid note. So this must be a note, um, a gridded notebook. And it says in the Santorini. This is in Greece, right? Am I making that up? I don't know. Who knows? But look at the cats. It's really cute. A little bicycle, the pretty ocean scene. Flowers are really pretty. It's got a little bicycle on the back. Definitely like it a lot. And then we have this. Ooh, this looks really nice. So this is like a cloth notebook with a little cupcake on it, which is so cute. Oh, this is a Taylor Bird diary. It's a yearly planner as well as maybe some notebook paper, but it definitely has yearly planner where you can fill in the day so you can use it any year, which is nice because obviously this year it would have been too late. This was originally 19,500 won, almost $20. So yeah, this is really cute and this box is totally paid for. That was well worth it. Let's go ahead and check out the second box. <laughs> Let's find out what's inside of this box. I'm so excited. Handy dandy. Cutter. Oh, that made a loud sound. Okay, let's check this one out. Ooh, okay, it's already looking like some very different stuff and I'm already really excited about what I'm seeing. Oh my gosh, right on top, I'm seeing a Halloween item. I'm so excited. Ah, it's a little Halloween notepad. Guys, it has a little pumpkin with a witch's hat, a little skeleton, a little ghost, an owl, a moon, pumpkin. Ah, ah, ah it's so cute. Uh, this was originally 2,500. It's like sticky note size, but I don't think it's sticky notes. I think it's a notepad, but it's pretty thick. It's super cute, and I'm really, really excited about it. Look how adorable the designs are. I hope you can see it well. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a little bat too. It's hard to see, but there's also a little tiny bat. This might be my favorite item so far because I'm a huge fan of Halloween. So I'm going to put this aside. Let's take a look. We got more of these little tiny notebooks, which are really cute. This is the same one that I already have, the Sunrise one. So I got a second one of these, so I can definitely give one of these as a gift. We have another one. Ooh, this is really cute. It's the night view. We have two little cats and a moon and a cityscape. That's really, really, really cute. And we have a little city kind of tower on the back. Definitely really loving this one. We have another sea themed one. So this one is also a double of what I have. So I can definitely give one of these as a gift. Very, very cute. We have another little notepad like this. So the other one I got was gridded. But this one, oh, it says hobby, let us enjoy life. And you can check on here, sport, movie, musical, etc. Do the title, do a little rating. It has like little smiley, like a sad face, an okay face, smiley face, really smiley, really, really happy. So you can like rate movies, sports, musicals, etc. There's an etc. box so you could like rate something else, maybe TV shows. I don't know. So cute. Definitely something that I could possibly use in my planner or maybe in a uh, scrapbook. We have another little notepad. So this one is a Aloha Hawaii themed notepad. Very tropical. We've got an ocean. We've got people surfing, palm trees, flowers. This is really cute. Let's see. Ooh, okay. So we have another key ring. And this time, this one's a little more interesting. It says... Free from the routine, which the other one said as well. It has the number 307, and it says something that is precious, easy to forget. Seems like something that is precious would not be easy to forget, but that's Korea using English for you. But this says it's a hotel key ring, which is really cute. I was feeling that. It looks like a hotel room key ring because it has a little number on it. It looks like this time I got even luckier because I got a whole nother little accessory that matches it. It's the classic card wallet so it looks like a little zipper pouch yeah that you can put cards in and they match they're both burgundy they're both leather so i got something like even extra in this one so this is really cute set they go together well and then i got another grid notebook this is the same one so it would have been nice if i had gotten a different one but it is cute and i do feel like i could give it as a gift so i can't really complain that much Let's see, so it looks like we have a bundle of stickers again. Let's take a look at these stickers. So let's see, we've got more removable stickers. These say like January, contemporary art exhibit. It looks like kind of art exhibit, kind of stiff. But then we also have a grocery list. I don't really get this. It says deco is the theme, I don't know. Okay, that's fine, it's cute. So in the other box, we had some sheets like this that had like highlighter markers and pencils. So now I got a paintbrush one, which is really cute. I also got this book one, which is cute as well. I like this. Possibly also good to use in my planner for little book notes or reviews. 
Oh, looks like we got this one again, so I'll set this aside. So I have more of these. I also got this one again. I definitely also got this one and the other one. It could be a slightly different color variation. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. Looks like kind of birthday themed. This one, I believe I had blue roses and the other one now I have red roses. So these are really cute and sparkly. Then I've got these little bears. I don't remember getting these in the last one. They look really cute. They've got kind of some old fashioned things. Oh, it's like kind of a delivery theme. So that's really cute. Definitely think that's fun. Ooh, it looks like I've got ice cream. Oh, this is so cute. You can pick the cone and then put the little scoops of ice cream on top. That's adorable. I'll have a lot of fun with that. Oh, we have fall leaves, which I love because I love the fall. Oh, we have ones in orange and yellow, and we also have some in black and white, which is really interesting. And we have some flowers too. These kind of look like they match more flowers in different colors, like daisies. And we've got some fall trees. I love fall, so I'm actually thrilled to have some fall stickers. And we've got these cute little pink and purple clouds and stars, which I also love the color scheme of. Then we have another sheet of these. So I did get these in the last one. It's our soap and skincare sheet. This one looks different. This is like makeup, sunglasses. This says makeup, yeah. So this is different. Last time I got a perfume one. Now I have this makeup one too. It looks like we've got more of these little plaid circles. We've got purple and pink ones, yellow and red ones. We've got these interesting kind of brown and gray tone ones. They're pretty cute. Oh, and it looks like we've got more letters. So these look familiar. These look different. We've got some different colors, it looks like. Different styles of numbers. Oh, these look like more numbers. The other ones was mostly letters. And this is looking like mostly numbers. So that's definitely interesting. Some more letters and some different colors. I don't think I got this teal before. And more numbers. So this was mostly numbers except for these really cute green ones. So I'm pretty happy with that. They're definitely going to be really useful. We also got whatever is happening here. I think I've seen this in the store before. Oh, so it's a notebook that then it's a really pretty notebook with sparkles. It looks really sparkly and cute, but then it comes with stickers to decorate it. So it's a clear deco diary color object. So you get a sheet of stickers that I've seen them sell separately, but with a notebook so you can decorate your little diary notebook. So that's really cute. Let's see, originally this was 12,000. So this is already way over paying for this box, which is really cool. Did I say how much this was? The keychain was 9,800 and the wallet was supposed to be 32,000. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this box way more. This one paid for itself even more than the last one. And then we have a larger notebook with this same cute C design. And this is 2,800 won is what it was originally selling for. It is a pretty thin notebook, but it's a really, really cute design. And like I said, I have some friends who are really into C theme things. So I definitely see these being really nice gifts for some friends as well. Even if I want to keep one of them, I now have like two more of various sizes. So anyway, this box was well worth it. The other box was too. I have no regrets. Honestly, if I get a chance to go back, I might buy another one of these boxes, but I might also not. But I had a ton of fun opening this. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and I hope that I'm speaking loud enough because it is kind of late at night while I'm doing this. I just really had an urge to do it. I'm trying not to speak too loudly because I live in an apartment that unfortunately recently has gotten some new tenants that seem to be a lot pickier about noise, which is really just annoying because before they moved in, no one ever really complained. And I don't actually think that anyone is being very loud. I just think they're being overly sensitive. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. Pretty sure one of them is my direct next door neighbor. So that's super fun for me. And I'm really not a loud person, but they seem to really have a problem with everything. So hopefully I'll be moving soon. More on that in a different video. Please like this video if you enjoyed watching. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see more videos like this, or if you'd like it if I found more of these boxes to unbox. And I will be back with another new video soon. Have a good rest of your week, everyone. Bye.